On Sunday, President Uhuru Kenyatta fitted uh, world marathoner Eliud Kipchoge with ha the highest uh, award ever, the Elder of the Order uh, of the Golden Heart. And I think that is quite a remarkable honor. Probably start with you, uh, Dr. Mustafa. What do you think of that? Th that's, that's quite an achievement, right? Yes, Zainab, it uh -huh. is quite an achievement. And uh, uh, Eliud Kipchoge deserves that um, award, mm -hmm. the, the medal that was given to him, and the honor that accompanies mm -hmm. that um, by the President of the Republic of uh, Kenya. And it's, it's, it was good to note, actually, that those who were awarded, uh, you know, one of the usual uh, pedigree psychophants mm -hmm. that have, you know, been, you know, uh, uh, doing things which are not really <laughs> kenyans don't really understand mm -hmm. um this particular award um given to kipchoge keino uh, kipchoge eliud uh, eliud kipchoge, kipchoge yes. keino is still in our minds these <laughs> are folks from my uh, homestead uh -huh. and uh, we, we keino kipchoge eliud um this goes a long way to honor our sports men and uh, uh, women mm -hmm. and to also inspire them to work harder to mm -hmm. be focused just like Eliud Kipchoge mm -hmm. has been in 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 trying to run that marathon in mm -hmm. under 2 hours I mean that's fantastic I mean, Dr Kanenje you believe the same right I think uh, we uh, first of all good morning a very good morning How are to you, you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, welcome to Standing on Guard. Oh, of course. <laughs> it is definitely an honor. Dibal? Ye yes. I am definitely <laughs> taking the photo. <laughs> <well. laughs> yes, I, I think we mm -hmm. did do some justice actually last week with regard, of course, that was before the honor, mm -hmm. but uh, they need to recognize and support our athletes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that uh, the Gideri Mans of the world, uh, they had their party spoiled that day. Uh, because they didn't get to get anything so they can go back to drinking and you know <laughs> drinking binge and stuff like that <laughs> because that cheapens uh, this type of awards and this type of recognition now um one thing that was important is you know this person is not a politician mm -hmm. is not an educationist is not any of those uh, traditional uh, things you know from the military that we used to seeing people get awarded mm -hmm. and of course uh, it, also historically a level of psychophancy sometimes has earned you some of those medals mm -hmm. uh, which is not exactly fitting now for someone such as uh, Kipchoge Eliud and I've been following him since he was 17 years old because mm -hmm. as I say last year I'm an athletic junkie mm -hmm. that the w entire world is celebrate him the entire world knows him uh, interestingly except us mm -hmm. you know and because people who pay attention to excellence recognize who he is. In mm -hmm. fact, I think there was one commentator, uh, one of the foreign channels, who said, well, even those who are not athletic fans, they'll at least know one man, the man who ran under two hours, mm -hmm. you know. And this is the man who ran under two hours. Mm -hmm. And it was fitting that he gets something like that. But I think we should move also beyond that, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I think, perhaps apart from Kipkeino, mm -hmm. we don't really have any other athletes that we honor with names of places, stadiums, and streets. I would like to see Catherine the River somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, I would like to see Paul Tergat Street somewhere. I would like, because this has a way of, uh, you know, etching this in the collective memory for generations to come. Instead of, fine, we recognize them today, but there's nothing else we do beyond that. I want to see schools now. For those of us who come from the North Rift, some of these athletes actually build schools and they're there, mm -hmm. but they're not honored anywhere outside their home or the work they did directly. You know, I think we should move beyond that. And I think if there's someone who earned this, it's actually Kipchoge. Mm. Fantastic. Ahmed, you, had, you have to add on that, and specifically, of course, that touching on, on the fact that, you know, the awards were sort of tarnished, and there was a lot of criticism on the same as well. But then giving Eliud Kipchoge this, uh, this, this, uh, this award is elevating the state of sportsmen as well in the country. Well, uh, good morning, and um, on behalf of my colleagues, let's uh, welcome you. Um, I know it's very early in the morning. <laughs> it's very difficult to come here very early in the morning. Um, Karibu. So I think that uh, this panel doesn't have a monopoly on uh, intelligence, uh, mm. as you know. <coughs> Kenyans um, are far more intelligent than this panel. Um, and that the issues that they see with Elliot Kipchoge is, um, you know, the spirit of uh, what this country could be mm -hmm. or what it ought to be. 
So uh, Eliot personifies um, not only excellence, mm -hmm. but um, you know when he runs and wins, he says that there's still hope for Kenya, mm -hmm. that we can really do what Eliot Kipchoge is doing openly and on the field. You can do it in business, you can do it in government, you can do it in academics, and there's no hanky-panky. Mm -hmm. and that the system is clean and it's straight All right. and um, I think Elliot personifies this sense of achievement mm -hmm. that we, we in all in Kenya have the huge capacity to uh, create um, but because of sometimes of the political infrastructure or the economic infrastructure a lot of very bright and talented Kenyans don't go to the level where they should be mm -hmm. so I think the hurrah that comes out of Kenya the sense of uh, belief that comes out of Kenya and the hope that comes out of Kenya, that personified by Elliot, is something that is inside the bones of our country. And we just need to put together these bones and make sure that it starts standing up and walking and making sure that that sense of achievement is writ large all over Kenya. And therefore, we can then participate in things that are just awesome, like mm. my kids like to say. All right, fantastic. Yeah. And Ambassador Rastas, I'm sure you have something to weigh on on that as well. Yeah, thank you very much, Sainab. Uh, I totally agree with my mm -hmm. panelists, uh, fellow panelists, in what they have said. And I think, let's look around the, uh, at the environment mm -hmm. and the implications of this honor. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think we should also thank and commend uh, the British, uh, you know, uh, yeah. the, 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 this uh, venture capitalists who made it happen. Mm -hmm. And I think we should also thank him because if you looked at the organization around that race, mm -hmm. it was incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took millions. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he may have received it back because of the TV rights and the rest, mm -hmm. but that was a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. The second aspect of it is what it means to Kenya mm -hmm. because Kenya has an acclaimed standing in the global you know, fraternity as a nation of sports, particularly medium Athletics. to long uh, races. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> this, we should now harness this mm -hmm. and, and, and try to tap into so that we can use it for tourism. Mm -hmm. I'm sure many people keep on asking, why do Kenyans run like this? Um, and if, if, if I come from a generation that I grew up with a number of these great uh, uh, you know, uh, sports people, like uh, Robert Huko, who died the other day, yes. I trained with them, I ran with them, and I knew what it means. It's hard work, mm -hmm. it's commitment, it's determination. And I think we should really show this as, 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 as a unique feature for Kenyans that should attract uh, tourism into our country. But there's also, mm -hmm. I think we should also encourage our industry to emulate what the British gentleman did. Uh, if you look at the West, Tiger Woods or Serena Williams or, or Bolt, you know, the, the, mm -hmm. the, they reap huge benefits out of this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I think our industry should now sponsor them, use them as logos, because this encourages young people to see that out of <coughs> you know, uh, humble life, you mm -hmm. can rise to that. Mm -hmm. And of course, the honor really shows that it's not only the politicians or whatever it is. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy that he has been given this honor and mm -hmm. he has put Kenya on the global map. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. and, and Dr. Momenzao, even on the same issue, I remember there were a number of critics saying, you know, uh, the race was, 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 was made conducive for, for Kipchoge to win this particular race, even including right. the Nike <coughs> shoes he was wearing. But uh, I saw a statement from uh, um, a comedian saying, you know, the, it's the Nike shoes would be saying, oh my God, it's a Kenyan who's, who's using us, you know, to win this, this race. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, uh, very important is um, what even uh, Eliud Kipchoge himself has said is that it's not about me. Yeah. It's about to inspire other people, to mm -hmm. inspire younger Kenyan athletes, uh, uh, boys and girls, men and women and so on, in order for them to, to try and break this record. It's so that it's possible. Mm -hmm. And so he was, it, 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 was a, it, it was kept in that, in that setting so that uh, to show that it is possible. And, mm -hmm. and so he, uh, he, he did not just Kenya, but the world proud. Mm -hmm. And um, 
uh, there was not another better uh, context other than Mashujade. Mm -hmm. And the head of state was eloquent. The speech of the head of state was very unifying, very nice. He mm -hmm. said that um, he defined who Ashuja is. Mm -hmm. And he built up the discussion in the context of these other Shujas who have inspired and who should inspire many other younger uh, Shujas in the country. Mm -hmm. And you know, and when you're a Shuja, you, you don't take bribes. When you're a Shuja, you, you, you pay your taxes. Right. When you're a Shuja, you do the due diligence and so on as a citizen. And, and, and that uh, call to, to, to duty and to, to patriotism right. uh, and, and to posterity of the country mm -hmm. is what the head of state uh, really underscored. And then he crowns it now with that honor uh, for, for Eliud Kipchoge. All right. And so it, 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 it comes out as a, a call for us to... Uh, to, to, to make our nationhood and, and where we are going as a country to be, to be a living thing, mm -hmm. to be something that would inspire generations to come. All right. and, and, and it felt good that uh, the country is, is one and the country is moving in the same direction. First time. <coughs> For a very and long every, time, the, yeah. country, the country felt And all the politicians right? who spoke right. and everyone really sh uh, uh, you know, underscored uh, that outlook that all the right. head of state is pointing to. All right, fantastic. Yeah.